Hey, we have something here from MIT 2023 problem 18. We have the integral of sine x over 2 e to the x plus cos x plus sine x dx. When I saw this one, I was really liking this problem. I think the reason I like this one is because it kind of defeats a lot of our normal methods of integration. So you can try some different things. Let me know if you found a different way for this. But the best way that I found to do to approach this was what I would call wishful thinking. I've actually done quite a few problems that were kind of similar to this. And I have a quiz that's called Kramer's Rule Integrals that kind of deals with this scenario. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna set up how I wanna approach it and then I'll explain afterward. Okay, so now what I have is my method of wishful thinking, right, where I've set this up exactly how I want it, where I want the first integral to be just to have the numerator and denominator be the same so that this is all one, okay? And then my second integral, you'll notice if I did a u substitution with the denominator, we have du in the numerator. So I've set that up exactly how I want for an easy u substitution. And then so the key to kind of making this whole dream come true is we need some a and some b, and this is just gonna be a number. We want some constant value a and b such that when we add this together, we get back to this integral. Because if this isn't, if this isn't the same as this, if it's not true, then we can't do it. So, so we just need to find these a and b values. So start, we can kind of break this up. I think I wanna focus on the sine term, which is kind of nice how we have this minus here. So we're gonna need a sine x from this one minus b sine x equal to one sine x, because we have a one right here. Okay, so that just means that a minus b equals one. And then next we could choose the e or we could choose the cosine. I'm gonna use the cosine, so we'll do the same thing here for cosine. So we're saying a cosine x plus b cosine x equals zero cosine x, because we've got no cosine here. Okay, so we create an equation for this where a plus b equals zero, but this gives us two equations and two unknowns. And we can do that, let's just, we can just add these two together. So if we add those two, we'll have 2a equals one, or therefore a equals one half dividing by two. But then we can plug in this a, say in this one, and then that means b is gonna be minus one half. So let's just take our a and b and put it back with our integral and see if we can continue. And so you notice like when we multiply in a half here, we have an ex here and we have a minus ex here. So that's gonna cancel and we'll have a half cosine x minus half cosine x, that's gonna cancel. So we haven't changed the integral at all and that's just kind of what I wanted to show. But we are set up now to integrate this very easily because like I said before, this one, this left integral is just gonna be one and this is gonna be an easy u substitution, we can see here. So integrating this, integrating one, we're gonna have half x, then we're gonna have minus a half and then this is just gonna be natural log of u Okay, but u is just all this business, so we're gonna have absolute value 2e to the x plus cosine x plus sine x plus c. Not sure why, but I always find this type of problem to be really interesting, and that's, I think, what I was thinking when I created that Kramer's Rule integral quiz. Obviously, you don't need to use Kramer's Rule, because we, we saw that we were able to just use regular algebra to solve the equations. Anyway, I'll provide a link in the description to that quiz. Thanks for watching, have a great day.